John McGee and I work with Mayo County Development Board. My name is Siobhan Carroll Webb and I work with Mayo North East Leader Partnership Company. Charlie Lambert, Sports Coordinator for the Mayo Sports Partnership. I'm Jimmy Murphy and I'm the representative of Mayo Middle Health Association on the Goal to Work Sports Coach Training Programme. The Goal to Work Programme was a concept originally put together in County Leitrim by Leitrim County Development Board in 2008. We amended the programme, we had a look at it and saw what was working well and decided in 2010 to adapt it to the needs of local unemployed people in County Mayo. What we decided to do was to develop a 14-week training programme. All of the participants had a skill set that they could sell. They could sell into schools, they could sell into local communities, they could sell it into local sports clubs and specifically into local soccer clubs. So what we had succeeded in doing was translating a passion and an interest that they had into the potential for job creation. We're delighted to be involved with this project and we've immediately seen its benefits. It has taken 35 people off the live register, it has trained them up to be sports coaches and given them a number of other talents besides. They've developed a routine and they've got hope for the future. We see the promotion of positive mental health as a positive way forward. Increasing participation in sport and physical activity and maximising the use of resources on the ground here in Mayo are the twin objectives of the sports partnership. As part of our strategic planning process, we would have identified a lack of leaders and sports coaches for all sports throughout the county. The Goal to Work uh, programme has benefited me in, in a lots of different ways between we're fully qualified coaches in soccer, Gaelic and uh, rugby. As part of the Goal to Work training programme, Mayo Sports Partnership facilitated training in a number of areas. These include the generic sports leadership training for older people and in the community, sports first aid, child protection in sport, disability awareness training and community planning of sports events in the community. Um, and I'm out in schools now at the moment, coaching kids, young kids, boys and girls, just the basic of Gaelic football, the skills and, and, and games and um, fun games, we have a lot of fun games in the day and they're enjoying it and they're great crack. And you see in the background here we're doing it with some of the kids here, we're doing we're doing a Gaelic football coaching. We're telling them how to catch the ball. We just sold them with the ball and we did a bit of hopping. The purpose of the Local Community Development Programme is to engage with unemployed people across the North and East Mayo geographic area, particularly long-term unemployed. The participants have been on the course over the last three years. I've used a number of them uh, for other programmes, as in soccer sisters, summer camps and other school programmes, um, which is for the success of the programme is uh, very beneficial for the participants, participants and myself. Progression options and routes is a huge issue for unemployed people. The type of information that unemployed people get on the sports coach training programme is very much about how to set up your own business, how to progress into employment, how to progress onto further education and training. We have people who have progressed um, from the training program into self-employment where they have established a business um, for one example is that one of the coaches now has established his own business under the Back to Work Enterprise Allowance and he is now coaching rugby within all of the schools in County Mayo. So that we've been very successful as a multi-agency committee in um, developing very strong progression routes for all of the trainee coaches. I was part of the original Goal to Work in 2010 and since that I would be involved in a coaching capacity of association football in primary schools around the East Mayo area. I would also coach in the FAA summer camps and the Soccer Sisters camp. I would have found the course very, very beneficial from the point of view that I would have been able to build up a network whereby I can bring my coaching ability now to bear on schools now. The benefits of Goal to Work um, are many. Uh, this is our second phase. Phase one was in Bellana, and the lads that we had on that were work, obviously working in the primary schools, but also from that then they got some work with myself in the GA Cool Camps during the summer. And uh, they were superb. Uh, their experiences that they, that they learned in the schools, they brought that onto the pitches for the Cool Camps as well. And the same will happen this current bunch as well. They're after finishing the 14-week programme in the primary schools in the Bellyhonas and East Mio areas. The feedback from the teachers has been superb on them. 
Hi, my name is Brian McDermott. I'm principal of St. Attractors National School here in Charlestown. My name um, is Kenneth Dinnady. I'm principal of Squalisa in Ballyhonus. Just wanted to say we're delighted to be associated with this program. Um, sport is a very important aspect of our school and in particular the games element of the PE curriculum. Um, the coaches that uh, have come to our school have worked alongside the teachers in um, developing this curriculum and especially in the games or soccer element of it. Um, it's been a brilliant programme, uh, very, very dedicated coaches on it. Uh, they seem to have learned incredibly quickly on, on the job. The relationship they set up with the children was exceptional and uh, it was something that I'd certainly recommend to any school to take this on. I see great benefits in it for the participants on the course, um, for their own mental health as well. Being, you know, they're all un unemployed and they're getting off, getting off from behind the TV, getting off the couch and getting out and doing sports, helping kids in the schools. Uh, the schools are benefit benefiting from, from like PE sessions basically in the schools, and that's uh, that's soccer, that's GAA, and that's rugby. Um, I've been in uh, this is my second year now involved with the Go to Work, and it's been very successful as um, we've got a lot of candidates as coaches onto the programme since then. Um, I'd like to say on behalf of the Connacht branch that uh, we're delighted to be part of this programme. It's been very successful for us in the future. I've done the Gold Work programme, Bally Harness, and um, we've done the Garda Vetting, we've done the Child Protection uh, in Sports, and we've done the Disability Awareness in Sports. The two clubs close by would be uh, Bally Harness and Ballinadreen and they've noticed the success from this as kids coming from the national schools, enjoying it in the national schools with our coaches and coming to the clubs and participating. This is the Connacht GA Centre of Excellence and this uh, particular pitch we ran our community goal to work project here last Wednesday night or come on to Boo and Pellabu. Through Mayo Sports Partnership involvement in the goal to work sports coach training programme we now have a panel of 35 sports coaches who are available to the community, sports clubs and schools and all these coaches can be accessed by contacting the Mayo Sports Partnership. It's really important that we look back and see what we've done very, very well. We're leaving a legacy of unemployed people who now have a skill set that can be sold. And I think that's really important and reflects the fantastic cooperation, that, a spirit of cooperation that exists between the sports development agencies in County Mayo and also that exists between a wide range of local development and enterprise support agencies in County Mayo. So the Goal to Work Sports Training Programme is a fantastic example of what can be achieved when people work together. We've built a fantastic foundation and I'm really, really confident now that the Goal to Work Sports Development Programme can continue to grow and will become something that people say, I want to get involved in that. Well, the project was recognised for its outstanding contribution to adult learners. Uh, and its success was, was underpinned by winning the Ainth Star Award. And I'm delighted to say that here it is. Um, just the last, last thing, I'd just like to uh, congratulate all the candidates and to see how they've uh, come forward from the first day we've interviewed them to uh, right now, it's been just brilliant. Um, and just, it's great, thank you.